everyone. I'm going to teach you about RPA and uh, before I get started, uh, we're giving away a solar stove bonfire. If you sign up for a demo at roost.io, um, we'll be giving it away if you join the breakout session and you register for a demo. We're actually going to use a Roost automation uh, to select the winner. Uh, so what the heck is RPA? I've spent a majority of my career, by the way, I'm founder and CEO of Roost, Aaron. Uh, before Roost, I was founder and CEO of Perch Security. I've spent a majority of my career doing cybersecurity. And when we would do security, we would write scripts and automate just like you folks do, because we need to detect and respond to threats as quickly as possible. But we also used a different type of tool that I haven't seen any adoption of inside of the MSP industry until Roost came around, uh, which was RPA. And so we started investigating why RPA was not being used inside the MSP space, and it came really down to uh, two items. Uh, number one, uh, RPAs today do not integrate with the tools that MSPs use. Um, and they do not have the software options that you folks require, like multi-tenancy. Um, the other issue prior to Roost was a lack of resources um, to get any benefit from automation today. Uh, you've got to take existing resources or hire new resources just so that you could see potential efficiency gains uh, through automation. Seems like we've been talking about automation uh, for over 10 years now since the RMM came out. And uh, folks are writing scripts and doing a level of automation in RMMs today. Uh, this uh, type of scripting through the RMM automation is something I would call automation. And what Roost focuses on is process automation. Uh, what makes up a process but a group of tasks? So we may actually reach out to your RMM and run a script just like you do today, but we'll also uh, reach out to third-party products that you use like Office 365 or Duo um, or your documentation platform uh, and do things there automatically and then reach out to your PSA and fill out a ticket and close it because we're done. Uh, so we uh, actually leverage your RMM to do process automation. We hear from our clients every day that it's hard to find and keep talent, um, that you folks have a ton of tools that you need to log into uh, repeatedly throughout the day to do simple tasks. Um, and that you need to respond to IT operational and security issues as quickly and as automated as, as possible. Um, all of these things that we hear from our clients today are really symptoms of not having process automation. So enter Roost. Uh, we're both a, an automation platform uh, for processes um, as well as a service with a rock um, to help you get value out of the platform. Um, Roost is not just a list of automations that you can do. While we do have a list of automations, um, it's really about giving us and you the ability to come up with uh, any automation that you can imagine. And when you're scouring your brain of what can be automated in your environment, Think of those trivial little tasks that people do all day long, that those time savings and efficiency gains add up little by little as you continue to automate within your environment. When you're thinking of what does a Roost integration look like, um, think of it as a help desk or IT knock person um, logging into a tool and doing something in it. We do the same thing, but instead of using the GUI of the tool, we're using the API provided to us by the tool to do those things automatically. Uh, Roost is both a product and a service. So just like uh, Stem and SOC, 
roost as an RPA with a rock. And this team builds workflows for you so that you don't have to learn how to do automations or spend critical valuable resources within your organization to build things from scratch. Uh, as we all know, when we run automations over and over again, things happen. And so we're there to monitor that those automations run. Here's an example use case, um, client new user ad onboarding. Um, almost all of our clients are automating client new user onboardings. Um, and when you think about the value here, think about how many steps are involved today in your current process, how many tools you need to log into. And if you had five techs logging in and doing like 20 steps a piece, how many different ways would client new user onboarding be done in your environment? Even if you have documentation, even if you have a checklist, because there's no better way to do it reliably every single time than to have the machines do it for you. Here's a list of automation examples um, that can be done in your environment. Things like finding stale 365 accounts, billing consolidation, offboarding, uh, MFA status reports, uh, enforcing MFA, enhanced backup alerting. Think of these things that you do every day. You're not just limited to tickets. You can do uh, everything from back office to CRM type activities automatically. Uh, so we help your techs punch above their weight level because you can do things automatically and you can take a tech that you just hired and have them do something just as well as a tech who's been with you for five years. And with that, um, please come schedule a demo at Roost.io and come visit us in the breakout session so you can get your campfire dealio.